I get this a lot. If Christianity is true, then why do so many people reject it? That's a good question. I mean, if it's true, why aren't people just falling right in line and following Jesus? Well, one thing I just remember is that truth is not a popularity contest. It's just not. Um, I mean, just think if the Nazis won World War II, and by this time we'd all be Nazis. So if, if Nazis were the most popular view on the planet right now, would it make it true? No. Truth is it's not a popularity contest. I mean, if one person follows it or no one follows it, if it's true, it's true. I think another thing, too, to think about is, you know, Jesus is the light of the world, and he called Christians to be the light of the world. And sadly, about only 1% to 3% of Christians, statistics say, share their faith. So that means the light is very dim. And if people don't consider Christianity, maybe because no one told them. Maybe because no one has shared the light of Jesus with them. Maybe they just don't know. Another idea, too, is Christians can persuade people and give them the truth and tell them how good Jesus is and why the Bible's true. But in the end, we're made in the image of God. And in the image of God, we, we have an intellect, emotions, and a will. And someone can know that Christianity is true and know the Bible is true and know that God exists and they know that intellectually. They know it, but yet in the end, someone can use their will and say, I choose not to follow that, I choose not to believe that. And we all know that we have done things like that. We do something we know is wrong, but we use our will to act that way anyway. And lastly, when you look at other faiths, like Islam as an example, all you have to do is say, there is one God and Allah and Muhammad is prophet. There is one God, Allah, and Muhammad is prophet, and you're a Muslim just by believing that simple statement. But in Christianity, in the end, what's going to get someone to the kingdom is bowing the knee to Jesus. And if someone doesn't want to bow the knee to Jesus, that's, that's a submission of the will. That's, that's a surrender to the Lordship of Jesus Christ into your life. And that's very hard for most people. It's an it's a, it's a attack on their pride. It's an attack on my pride. But when I submitted my life to the Lordship of Jesus Christ and trusted Him as my Savior, that's when I found true life.